Turning now to campaign 2014 and the race for governor in Massachusetts. Voters head to the polls on Tuesday to pick their party's candidates. And Attorney General Martha Coakley is touring the South Coast today, trying to rack up some last minute support. Eyewitness News reporter Sean Daly caught up with the Democratic front runner in Taunton. He joins us now live with the Mobile Newsroom. Patrick, the latest poll shows the Democratic candidate for governor in Massachusetts, Martha Coakley, is running well ahead of her primary opponents. But as we all know, of course, the only poll that counts is on Election Day. Attorney General Martha Coakley came here to Taunton just a few minutes ago to meet and greet voters at a popular diner here. I caught up with her mere moments ago for her reflections on the governor's race. You say shaking every hand. Is that the lesson from the Scott Brown race? It's certainly one of the lessons from Wendy Chan that I heard from people. Um, so I have vowed and I think kept to since last September. We've been working hard around the state. But more importantly, listening to people and hearing their concerns about needing good education, needing to develop our workforce. But people, I think, are excited that we have an opportunity in Massachusetts to be prosperous and fair. And part of my message is it's not just for Boston and Cambridge. It's also for the rest of Massachusetts, including Taunton. From here in Taunton, Martha Coakley heads to New Bedford, and from New Bedford, she goes to Fall River. We'll have the very latest starting on Eyewitness News Live at 5. Live in Taunton with the Southeastern Massachusetts Mobile Newsroom, Sean Daly, Eyewitness News. Coakley is running against two other Democrats for the party's nomination. State Treasurer Steve Grossman and former Medicare Administrator Donald Berwick is also running. On the Republican side, Charlie Baker is running against Mark Fisher for that party's nomination. And remember, Eyewitness News and WPRI.com are your local sources for campaign 2014 coverage. In four days, we'll have the most complete coverage of primary night in Rhode Island and Massachusetts. We'll be bringing you live updates throughout the night after the polls close, including election results, analysis, and reaction from both the winners and losers.